Amy uh, Broccoli. Bar- Broccoli. Broccoli. Broccoli from Simpatico. Yes. Come on. I'm a walking corporation. I don't have polls. I don't have statistics. I don't have my glasses, so I can't really see. But I can tell you what I'm thinking. I'm a woman. I'm corporate Rhode Island right here. I've been Rhode Island resident for 30 years. I graduated URI. I'm head of household. I've been a single parent for 15 years. One of my children is severe, profound, disabled, serviced 24-7. He cannot be left alone, and he's transitioning into the adult Rhode Island system. My other child is diagnosed with Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, which is a It's a heart defect. I am a cancer survivor, and I am the GM of Simpatico, and I am against the Health and Safe Families Act. I am here completely independently protecting our small Rhode Island business. I've run through the ranks of the Rhode Island industry. My college education was paid through waitstaff tips. My mortgage was paid through bartending and self-employment. I'm a bootstraps girl. I supported my family by honing my skills, being a professional, and making good choices for myself and my family. I am a producer, and I feel, I feel guilty for it, like I did something wrong. We bought the restaurant in 2012, and right now I have 60 employees, 17% of them. And I brought 23 coffees to ask for testing. You could leave those with the clerk, please? Perfect. Thanks. 17% of them are people with special needs, IDD community. It's IDD month. One of them just got a raise to 1050, and that's because he earned it. It's not because anybody told me to give it to him. It's because he earned it. Last year, in the dem- demographics of my spreadsheet, I did a little slice of time. July 16th, to, uh, July 16th 2016, 54 staff. Out of those 54 staff, 17 were disabled. Out of those 54 staff, 17% 17 were parents. 37% were full-time students. 65% were seasonal. 26% had second jobs. And 43% were my core staff. Michael Rougeau is right. This bill is coming down. My partner and I sat down. And it's coming amongst some other bills. We sat down. We said, how are we going to respond to this? We figured it out. I can cut my employee staff by 63%. Who goes first? My DD folks go first except for two. I'm going to a new model of restaurant that is coming to Rhode Island. It's a cafeteria style where you don't need door people, you don't need hosts, you don't need bussers, and you don't need runners, and you don't need waitstaff. And on that piece of paper, it talks about how much my waitstaff make, both the median and the average. They do incredibly well. My college-age bussers are doing 18 bucks an hour. I'm against this onerous health and safe families. I can't do it, and I am your corporation. I'm not going to do it. I will just minimize my staff as much as I possibly can. I'm also against the increase in minimum wage because my DD employees need to be able to start somewhere. If I can start them at 960 or $10 an hour, when they get that raise, they are so excited and they earned it. They are flying on their own. Thank you for your time. Does anyone have any questions?